So this is uh, just going to be a quick kind of run through of um, iPad OS 16. Um, this is the third um, kind of beta uh, that's been released, um, which is the first uh, the first public beta um, that's been made available. Um, so here I am just kind of running through, kind of showing you know how things look. Um, this is using my iPad Mini 6. Um, and, um, you know, remembering the differences between the last version and this one, I, I don't quite, uh, but you can kind of see, you know, definitely beta, there, there's some icons there that are showing up in the wrong spot. Um, but on, all in all, not too bad so far um, in terms of what I've seen. Um, so, uh, you know, just in kind of clicking through um, and, you know, testing how this all works and if anything kind of stands out to me as brand new um, I will say that the thing that I was really hoping that I would see um, had to do with kind of um, making it so that you could potentially link between um, different notes um, and be able to kind of connect them a little bit better um, similar to you know what apps like Rome, Obsidian, and Craft do um, where you know you can have a single note connect and link to other notes more easily. There are ways to do that, um, but it kind of takes a lot of effort and, and really, um, it, in my you know workflow, doesn't doesn't really pay off. It, it's not really um, easy to do, um, so it, it kind of makes it not worth it. Um, but I think this might be new here. Um, these these tags. Um, that have been added maybe in the last iOS um, and iPadOS uh, updates, um, you know, 15 or maybe even as far back as 14. Um, this one kind of allows you to um, select whether you want maybe two tags or more to be either matched or, you know, finding one or the other. So it's kind of an either or um um, situation or you want them all to be matched in a single note um, if, if any notes have them so um, that seemed like something that was done and um, and I don't know if you saw the the other um, thing that was happening there is if you're to tap twice on a tag um, it allows you to uh, be able to say any note that has this tag but does not have that tag is, is another thing that can be done. I, I think that's new. Um, and that's kind of handy if you have a lot of notes and are really investing a lot of effort into um, tagging. Um, here is just kind of some regular formatting. I was kind of looking to see um, if, if there was anything new. I didn't notice anything that seemed like it was a, a major advancement. Um, I mean, I, I think you're able to do formatting. Uh, maybe some of the UI has changed, um, but I can't say for sure because I didn't really go through and, and review the the kind of existing um, iPadOS 15 um, kind of UI and UX. Um, but uh, yeah, as you can see, you know, the, the top um, custom uh, customizable toolbar. Um, I had initially removed those icons to kind of see like, you know, how much can you pull out of there. Um, so those top four there um, are can be removed and kind of hidden. Um, and uh, you can kind of deal with it that way. Um, didn't notice too much here in the, like the formatting. Um, and it was having a little bit of trouble um, in terms of, you know, having my keyboard in the way. Um, Maybe that's more so an issue of of the development of a beta on a smaller iPad screen where they're probably putting a lot of their attention into um, how how iP iPad Pro you know eleven and um, twelve point nine inch um, work. Um, so one thing that's really um, kind of nice and 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 I believe a new addition here is with the Apple Pencil. Um, one thing that I've noticed here is that there's this ability to um, change how double tapping on the pencil. This is the second generation pencil. Um, it has this ability to double tap. And one thing that you see here is it allows you to show ink attributes as well as um, the color palette. 
Um, and so here I'm double tapping and it's swapping between the two tools that I recently used. That's existing. I think that this text here telling you which tool you're changing to has been added. And I think that's actually um, pretty helpful because to me, the pencil and the pen really aren't different enough um, for me to notice um, when I was tapping back and forth between the two um, in, in, the, in the past. Uh, but, um, you know, to be told um, is really helpful. Um, here, here's the color palette. So if you double tap, you're able to use, you know, whatever um, tool that you were using and to be able to uh, have that palette come up when it's applicable. So a pencil, a highlighter, um, or the pen, but you know, the eraser of course wouldn't have any value. So if you had the eraser and double tapped, I imagine it probably won't do anything. Um, and then for, you know, ink attributes, um, you get this. So, you know, whenever you double tap, you're able to say, okay, let's change the size. Um, the introduction of this kind of feature uh, really does go to show like double tap as a single um, method of kind of interacting with how the pencil is working um, makes me wonder if there's any interest from Apple to create a third generation Apple Pencil that has a button. Because if you had a button or a button with, you know, maybe two different components, um, you could do more than just toggle which is what this currently is only able to do. If you toggle, it can load a different functionality of, um, you know, changing the tools that you have available or changing what the tool, you know, has inside it, like a single tool. So changing between the ink attributes. And so if you want to do more though, and say, you know, launching one of these little palettes that can change the individual tool, but you can't then leave it. So you're stuck with only using the pen tool. Um, but if you want to get back to the eraser, you have to then reopen the menu. So if they made another pen with more, um, more uh, buttons or some sort of functionality, um, this could get really advanced. Um, and, f you know, for an artist or someone who's, you know, taking notes and really wants to quickly work um, on you, what they're writing and how they're writing um, without having to load up the UI, um, that, that could get really powerful. So, I don't know that they would do it, but just a thought of as this gets more advanced, it really calls into question, like, you know, what else could they do with, with the pencil? Um, doesn't look like much is new here. Um, you know, maybe maybe there's some kind of changes um, in, in terms of what's available, but um, does it, not, not really a huge feature for me. Um, you know, I, I don't tend to use, use text inside of these. I tend to just simply write with my pencil when I'm writing, um, but you can make it bold and do the regular kind of um, text stuff um, that you can do with just actual typing um, in, into a note. Um, I'm, I'm not sure if there's a bug, but in duplicating, it duplicated and just simply said text instead of, you know, re repeating the yep that I had typed in as well as the formatting. Um, so I'm not sure if that's a, an issue or not um, that they're going to deal with. Um, you can drop in shapes um, and uh, change the border color, change the, the border width, um, and then also add in a fill color if you wanted that. Um, so they're not just outline shapes um, for these kind of prepackaged um, uh, different kind of symbols that they have available. Um, it'll be interesting to see with this new mural app that they're, they're working on um, if this will get more advanced over time. Um, because, you know, there's probably a lot that you will want to do f with something like that. Um, and if this is using the same toolkit, I imagine that um, there's probably a lot of features that, that would be really helpful um, that could be shared between um, both applications um, if both applications are, are actually running on the same platform. Um, so here I am just kind of dropping things in, seeing why are they being sized like this? Um, so they, they seem to be stretched out um, for some reason. 
um, like the circle came out more as an ellipse, um, which, you know, you can stretch it, but why they were all kind of um, showing up that way, I'm not quite sure. Um, and then, uh, yeah, you know, just kind of usual stuff. Um, it doesn't seem like too much has changed, but, um, you know, I was hoping for more um, kind of advancements um, overall in this app. Um, it doesn't look like there's really um, too much um, in, in the details of writing a note. Um, you know, there's of course the collaboration that they're starting to drop into um, a lot of other um, kind of uh, native a Apple first party apps um, such as um, the iWork um, system, the suite um, where, you know, pages and, and their, their uh, numbers app and all that. Um, we'll be able to probably do screen shares and, and um, all that kind of stuff more easily. Um, but anyway, yeah, I, you know, n no changes in lines and grids. Um, I, you know, was hoping maybe, maybe they would add dot grid or, or something else there, but it's all pretty, pretty simple. No, no customization, um, available yet. Um, tagging is, is more about the system, the, the UI here, not, not much different. Um, and, uh, yeah, that's, that's kind of the gist, um, you know. Uh, all in all, kind of kind of works in in a way that you probably wouldn't wouldn't see much new um, in in inside the note uh, here here in this listing sidebar um, they they do have you know more control it, it seems in terms of the sorting um, and uh, displaying um, how it's being sorted um, and. Uh, being able to kind of toggle with some of those those options there. So here being a, a date-driven um, sorting um, and having the ability to turn that off if you wanted to. Um, and then, you know, you can sort by title if you're like, I want to see it A to Z or Z to A. Um, but having having those controls is um, kind of a nice addition because they, they do keep this very simple. You know, there are no table headers and columns and stuff they they really focused on um, keeping this pretty minimal over the years but now that they're adding this in um, you know it is making it a little bit more robust um, and you know as they add in those features there there could be you know potential for more filtering and all that kind of stuff in the future but um, probably not necessary at this point and maybe maybe they'd never want to really get too too further too much further in, into that kind of stuff that looks, um, you know, like a like a spreadsheet table where there's just too much data being shown. Um, you know, swiping left or right doesn't look like there's too much of a change there, too much different. Um, one thing that's noticed uh, that that I noticed here in in terms of this gallery mode um, is that when you go to the um, ellipsis. Um, kind of more menu up at the top. You can zoom in and out so you can resize um, the size of these um, kind of little panels um, for the notes. So that's kind of nice um, so that you can kind of see what's in there. Um, maybe that existed before. But uh, anyway, um, you know, you can kind of see like, yeah, just, just a couple additional um, Kind of things added to, to these items here. Um, I think that's about it. Uh, you know, looking at this shared folder here, um, you know, it seems like they've got some some different UI that um, helps you to um, find um, notes that have been shared to you or shared to others. I guess in, in this case, um, that haven't been accepted by that user. So that's that's a nice way to be able to find that kind of information there. But that's about it.